asking for it where my system is or what's the current state of the Lee and Lee PCO5 SX build. And it's finished. It's been finished since uh, June or July and it's been uh, installed on my desk ever since. Um, I had to do some uh, changes. One major change involved the, the pump and the reservoir array. Um, maybe you remember from, from the previous um, parts, I had a different array. I had a big ski, um, like all-in-one solution reservoir with a pump. Um, I just couldn't live with it. <laughs> it was too loud in my opinion. And I changed it over to a D5 pump and a very small reservoir. Um, my opinion looks very nice. I have, I used a, a similar configuration in another system. Um, that I built also in the Leonid PCO5 SX case. Um, I have some experience with this case and I know uh, what to look for. Um, yeah, that's that's basically my system. I already did an upgrade. I have a Ryzen 7 5800X in it right now. I got one on a very good deal and I could use the 3700X in a PC build that I sold. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my system. It runs very cool and quiet. Um, the cooling capacity is just right for the 3070 Ti and the 5800X. Um, my 3070 Ti is undervolted heavily, actually, it runs at a lot, around 200 watts, and the CPU is undervolted with PBO enabled. And the performance, yeah, just about. Uh, very similar to a stock 5800X while consuming 20 watts less about, yeah, around that. Um, yeah, other, other than that, nothing has been changed on it. Yes. Now my lighting is going off. <laughs> Battery is down. Um, yeah, this is a very small video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you found my, um, my series um, interesting, maybe helpful if you're trying to get a PCO5 SX case uh, in the future. They are very difficult to find and whenever there is one for sale I will try to snatch it up so you'd better be fast if you find one.